allow me to reiterate the company will, when Omar was arrested, I was to inherit the company. You were on Omar's good side. He gave you the company, because you garnered the public's love. I put both hands in and worked for the position of CEO. That doesn't matter now. What matters is getting the media off our back. We left a bloody trail, and if you've read Macbeth, you'll know blood can't be washed. We need to activate Chroma Security Key 17 Bravo Delta Charlie. Omar forbade us from using CSK 17 BDC. My recommendation, let the smoke clear, then use 19 ABA. You were straying away from Omar's vision, testing your limits. Be careful, Lund. You're Melissa Winston, and you live on 49262 Lockett Street, New Mexico. You're Lund Fox, and you live on 49252 Pequen Street, New Mexico. You have a wife, a 17-year-old boy, and a 21-year-old girl. Your son is failing almost all of his classes and your daughter smokes pot. How do you know that about me? I keep my personal life under wraps. Omar gave me employee records before he was jailed. I have dirt on everyone now. Your threats don't scare me, Melissa. Security gets their paychecks from my wallet. No better than to lie to the chief financial officer of the company you run, Lund. There's undercover officers fronting as employees in the fruit sector of Chroma. Give me the officers' names and employee code sequences. I don't think you understand what confidential means. Their names and X aren't in public records or external databases. You know who's at the door, so I'll ask you one last time, names and sequences? The officers' names and employee code sequences are being stored in online libraries. Where is the location of these online libraries? The employee sequence codes are being stored in data books on Powski Lane. There is your problem, Lund, you give up too easily, especially when your life's at risk. How did Melissa getting angry at you make you feel? It made me feel aggravated, overwhelmed. Has she given you these feelings of being aggravated and overwhelmed prior to today? She's always been so happy until she divorced Miriam. Everything changed. I presume Miriam is her husband? Miriam was her husband of five years. I never saw her smile after the divorce. Have you tried communicating with her? She might be feeling guilt or shame, but she's too scared to reach out for help. I try and talk to her, but she pushes me away. I suggest a team building exercise. Suggest bringing her with you to the next therapy session, and we can foster a more loving environment between you two. Thank you. Debbie, I'll talk to her. We'll schedule another session for the 10th, 